This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 677. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio here in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to talk professionalized wrestling with all of you out here. Uh, with us, we got a hell of a crew. We got a wild crew. We can say that from the deepest and darkest state of West Virginia places sure uh with us from deepest and darkest beacon new york he is the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the wwe he is mad mike uh, uh lego master builder extraordinaire mm-hmm. i'm still a morning sword i know you're in morning it would say actually evening but still i'm in evening morning <laughs> you're in evening morning the damn iconics never got a pay-per-view match sword. i know i know they never got one i know but they I want they, a little mcfoley there but for a we'll second. have the apologize. memories and we'll have the kayla's and we we'll got the you gotta, I be, you gotta be joking me yeah. i mean i've been i've been saying you've got to be joking me and missy just thinks something is terribly wrong like every time i say it today she's like sword. what's like why are you pissed i'm like no i'm just mad at disrespected australians so did you go to journalism for that i went to journalism for that i was <laughs> i was actually watching the show with somebody that went for journalism for that so you know <laughs> <laughs> uh we also have with us a uh, new member still mid hazing it is ronnie starks hello everyone i've made it to the second episode i haven't got fired yet no no, no. if you keep asking people if you can be on wrestling shows i don't know how that's gonna last though so are you gonna get me booked or what <laughs> We told you you have to get the fucking trampoline. I'll get. Right. I'm Dennis yes. Stamp. I'm not booked, sword. I'm not booked. <laughs> Ronnie, where are you gonna be this weekend? I'm, I'm not, not booked. booked. <laughs> also with you us know, when we do when we do wrestling events this weekend, we can say, "Where is Ronnie not booked this weekend?" Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you know where you won't see Ronnie? Go to. Uh... <laughs> 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 yes yes oh, uh anyways actually it's kind of the opposite this week but we'll get into that here later but also the let's see fight society champion he comes up with a different belt every time oh, he's here it's either a new belt or a new bone it's the beast man himself who is from deepest darkest west virginia he got it right Yay! ladies and gentlemen all right here well, we, we go. talked about it for five minutes so <laughs> got we got notes i like i was going to write a post-it note like when i, I couldn't uh pronounce finn balor uh, so let's call him Finn Baylor. Uh, yeah, what no, did I call Finn him? Balor, Balor, Baylor, Baylor, French. Finn was, Balor. <laughs> yes, I. You know what? Europe is confusing. Uh, but yeah. this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we have a little bit of an audience here today as well. Uh, but you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links to this and other great shows. Uh, we just interviewed, uh, what did we post last week? The Wayward Sons interview, I think. Um, your friends from the Black Diamond uh, Wrestling. And also, uh, you can check out uh, both the Monday Mayhem wrap-up. We didn't have one officially in podcast form, but we're of course, we're live from PPG Arena last night on Facebook Live. So thank you, everybody, that jumped into the chat there. And thank you, Mike, for jumping in on that as well. Uh, and uh, you can also subscribe to us on your favorite podcast platform. Please hit the like, hit the thumbs up, whatever your, your platform is doing. That helps other people find the mayhem and help the mayhem nation grow. Are you, wait, wait, what are you doing with a train over there? Mike's just like playing with this. This Is that your Hogwarts train? Yeah. Like, is it a Lego you're, train? A, Monday you're night is a Lego show. night. This is not Lego night. Sorg is always like your night. Okay, he's not wrong, but still, um, <laughs> he's distracting me from telling you that you can also ask your uh, talking device, uh, Google Home, Amazon Echo, or that thing that Apple does um, to uh, 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 listen to the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast, and it will most likely do it. Sometimes you got to set up a tune-in app or something like that, however those things do it. Um, but uh, uh, And then you can just listen to be like, hey, or you can make a keyword. I think Amazon, you can make a keyword and be like, hey. Let me listen to those assholes. The Wrestling Mayhem show is going to come up. Have, whatever helps you guys out. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. 
listening to Wrestling Mayhem Show now. And it's an Australian. Um, get, yeah, by the way, our Google Home is now Australian uh, after last night. I did not set that up. I want to make sense. Make, you got to be joking me. Exactly. Um, you can all e- also email us at Good times <laughs> at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I almost fucked up the spot. You so. did fuck up the spot. <laughs> I, I'm Contact sorry about that. That's the email address. <laughs> yes. Uh, or 412-206-WMS0. Definitely put that uh, in your phone. And then you call can also you can also call label that drunk. call this when I'm drunk. Or yes. get get me a ride home, or or that <laughs> that girl at the bar I liked, and then call it, and we'll oh, see what happens next. Will it get me booked? Will it get me booked? <laughs> I'm not booked. Dial the Mayhem Hotline. <laughs> there you go. Also, uh, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, of course, uh, Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussions going on there. <laughs> Of weird discussions too going on and of course we're live every tuesday around about 9 p.m eastern if my computer is going to cooperate with me today uh or we'll just go on the phone and say hi guys how you doing out there you know our friends like uh tammy's out there alex is out there in california tina up in the seattle area our northwest friend hi gina and uh did you say gina tina no i said tina okay. with a T. I, you from know. seattle Use it from Seattle. Uh, Tina, eat your ham. Go. <laughs> Seattle, you're on the ass. <laughs> Seattle, yeah. Thank you. I've been on a big Larry uh, uh, King kick. Don't call me when you're sober. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's a good rule of thumb. Um, if you catch us later on any of the outlets, of course, we're streaming on Facebook, but also a lot of other places and throughout the week, uh, like our friends at the405media.com, carrying us there uh, every night at midnight Eastern time. Uh, you can tweet us at Mayhem Show uh, when you're really mad about whatever Mad Mike said this week and hashtag WMS677 to continue that conversation. Uh, so thank you, everybody, of course, that supports us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, including our friend Bo, Bo Diggity. Diggity. Woo! Wow, Woo! you got that one. Uh, also, Ed Berg, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, Team Hammerfist, and at the Pocky Club five dollar level, Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Podner, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery, and at the Pizza Club level, our friend Ryan Clark at thirteen dollars, and at the Manager level, OccupyProWrestling.com. Let me mention real quick, because I realized I didn't last week. OccupyProWrestling.com has a new podcast out where he interviews Keel Bradley. No one's going to listen to that. <laughs> no, I might give it a gander. Jeez. You know what the best that part is... about that show is? Uh, when it's right. over. <laughs> oh, wow. You do wow. realize he paid us for that spot, right? He did pay us for the I spot. I mean, yeah, like he... I can't wait hey, to watch Okay, that. wait, 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 wait. Ronnie's due to this. Yeah. You realize he's at the manager level. You realize all those names I, I mentioned, including Bradley, are now you as being part of the show, your bosses. Well, this is yep. awkward. So yep. you're so now if they tell now, us who are you, we have to listen. Now Heel Bradley is in charge of you. Oh. In the context of the show. And in life. Heel Bradley has a better chance of getting booked this weekend than you, Ronnie. Bradley, I'll oh, watch your show. Alex Curse <laughs> just said you're fired. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. And he, and, and he pulled the sponsorship. And- God damn it, Ronnie! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why you're not booked. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you saw pictures of me at Raw, I just want to call out. I was wearing the wonderful Smark uh, friend style hat uh, from our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com. So go buy some merch, please. Also, please take some. We have some. We have some stickers and stuff from them over there on the bar. So, um, anyways. Uh, but uh, you guys can support the show too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show guys WWE is in Pittsburgh last night which of course meant your your uh, uh, required viewing of Kurt Angle in the ring uh, in a referee shirt and uh, and other other things uh, happening like the uh, guys first of all I guess we should we did a little bit at the beginning of the show Mad Mike I'm sorry I you know I I, I, I know, know you I, are sorry I know you feel bad but the person I'm mostly worried about is Bobby F. J. Town because not only did the Iconics lose the tag titles, um, um, Oscar didn't win. Oscar didn't win it. <laughs> but, uh, so has somebody checked on him in the last 24 hours? I don't know. No, uh, I'm a little worried about that. Yeah. But, anyways, in general, we didn't we didn't talk 
too much uh, kind of a light uh, raw wrap up last night. Yeah, but... you guys are at raw. You didn't talk about it. Raw. <laughs> you know what the fuck? Yeah, you like, know. I know. We don't talk about raw, but that's you talk totally about Legos it. and and Spider Man on, on that Conroy. show and Kevin Conroy. You know, yes. I mean, that's that's I mean, it's becoming less of a wrestling show on Monday night, and I'm kind of okay with that. To be fair, it's becoming less of a wrestling show on Raw too. Well, well that is true. <laughs> um, so we did. <laughs> Again, we did have Raw last night. By the way, friend of the show, watch. Uh, you saw the back in, of the head of and, and voice of one Honey Badger on the show last night. So she was the one that called her in. Also, Jessica Carr, referee, friend of the show as well. We interviewed her back in her wrestling days. Um, but uh, and I think that was it. It was. A, I mean, I, I recognize Ben Boone, and I know he's from like more the Detroit, Ohio area as one of the paramedics. So. Um, always interesting. I hear there's some stuff on SmackDown tonight, though. Mm, Rev is on SmackDown. Rev right? is on the Rev is on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. I'll be hearing about that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, it, it's always fun to see that. No uh, Guardians of the Indies. Uh, although I think somebody called that one of them might have been also on SmackDown too. Uh, so you never know. You never know it's going to pop up, especially when they pop up in this area. Um, Crisis on Infinite Ross. What is happening out there? Bobby's somewhere cuddling his puppets and Funko Pops. Yeah, like they're having like like I just picture them. He may have also gotten buried by them. What's that? He may have also gotten buried by them. I am worried about those walls of Funko Pops falling on him. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, generally, um, you know, so they say some of us were there last night. It was it was a it is still continuing to pick up as far as Raw goes the last couple of weeks. I know, Mike, you had some issues with it, but uh, you know that live. The live feel of it was was really hot. Everybody was really excited about Surprise Goldberg, which I think we talked about last night. Surprise Goldberg is probably the best Goldberg. Um, no, I I'd still argue that no Goldberg is the best. Well, Goldberg. no, but still, I mean, come on, I I listen. We 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 got excited. No, you know what should have happened? Goldberg should have come out, and then the Beast should have given him the mandible claw, never to be seen again. Do you mean the Fiend? Yes, the fiend. I apologize. That's okay. Um, nah, it was. I think it was a. It was a. It was a pretty good night there. Uh, All right. Um, we should say an over under for that go, for that Goldberg Dolph match. I'm gonna set the over under at two and a half minutes. Uh, <laughs> Are you giving it that much time? I, I'm no. I'm saying, is it gonna be over or under? Because Dolph can powder outside the ring. It's gonna be so. the best looking spear he's delivered in the last ten years. This entire comeback is going to be... I, if, if Dolph can somehow pull himself in half, like a... Here, you know what? This is how Dolph is going to sell the spear. By oh, we, got a, we got a Ready? visual aid. What is that, a Lego a character? Okay. Well, it's, it's Ned from Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay. <laughs> not, not exactly an accurate representation. Oh, of you know, but I mean, it's not the hold scale. On, hold, on. hold on. This is much better. Barney Rubble. I love... I Basically Dolph Ziggler. What is wrong Basically. with his mouth? And uh, this is how <laughs> Dolph is going to sell it. Okay. Whoop. Speared right in half. Okay. Okay. Speared right in half. Okay. That's it. All right. That's What's interesting. What's his mouth? Yeah, well, his mouth was kind of weird. Uh, it's his stubble. His stubble? Oh. That's way too half. Yeah. They didn't have razors in the Stone Age. <laughs> so like he, strange. He looks like he just got to eat the turd. <laughs> they also did not have great restaurants in the Stone Age. No, no. You get those uh, brontosaurus ribs. Yeah, yeah, I know. Put them it's on the right side here. of the car. Your car tips over. Yeah. It's right here. See? Oh, it's Lego brontosaurus ribs. Okay, that's awesome. You just re- <laughs> yeah. you just reenact the beginning of the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah. You, you can actually put it on the car and it tips over. Oh boy. Mad Mike, meet Mad Mike. <laughs> he plays with his fucking Legos. <laughs> yeah, he should be. Doing a wrestling podcast. Then he'd rather play with fucking Legos. <laughs> I was I was doing a reenactment of what of what Dolph is going to do at the pay per views. Oh yeah, whatever you say, Lego boy. It's a good excuse. It was a good excuse to play with Legos. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Um. But anyways, uh, so I, are you guys feeling the 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 the, the Heyman uh, influence here? A couple weeks in, like I I was talking with somebody today, and it just feels like we went to everybody and said, "Hey, what got you here?" Do more of that. We have Mysterio and Andrade just having a killer match and everybody else just kind of leaning into what works for them. Joe, the raw interruptions, like you're getting more of that anything can happen vibe, you know, ever since like the Braun stage blow up uh, about a month ago. Right. Mm. So I I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Ronnie? 
Uh, I liked um, the twenty four segment. Always cracks me up. Yeah, that's where the twenty four seven title is. That's our comedy segment for the yeah. most part. And then uh, what else did I like? Let's see here. I did watch the Andrade and uh, Ray match today when mm-hmm. I got him. I thought that was really good. Uh, Incredible match in person. Was it? Yes. Nice. I tried to watch uh, bits and pieces of Raw today because you know me. I don't watch it on Mondays. I right. Just, right. It's it's a lot. It's forward. a lot to dedicate to. Yeah. To take an entire Monday night every week for three hours plus and do a podcast for. <laughs> yeah. But I think Raw was pretty solid for once in Pittsburgh. Yeah. That doesn't happen you say often. for once. I think we usually get some good no, stuff. No, don't lie to yourself. Although we've had man. some bad nights where... A lot of bad nights. Yeah. More bad nights than good nights. Really? Yeah. Name one. Every freaking time they come to town. Bad days. Well, there was, the, there was the uh, 10 on 2 tag. They did the one night that took the entire last segment. That was rough. Don't forget about uh, Triple H and Chris Benoit going for 30 minutes Oh no, an hour on the two me? hour show. Whoa. Wait, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that was in Pittsburgh, an hour match. That okay. was probably one of the best matches I've ever seen. But You're still, gonna... that took up a whole hour. So of what? Program. That was, was a great it match. Was a, it, was, it was an hour of great wrestling. All right, I'm wrong here. Okay. okay. You are wrong. I'm going to say you're wrong. I'm, 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 I'll take... This is everybody. You, um, you are two. I, I'm. Strike one. I, strike one. I don't, strike need, one. I don't strike one. need to see two more times. I'm chopping you live on the air. That's fine. I don't need to see a 40 plus minute match on Raw. Thank you. Okay. All it, right. Now, t- now take it for granted, Mike. That that match is a pay per view quality match, but also remember you put back, it on a pay per view. Well, remember back then ratings were low for Raw. You know, ratings they, are still low for Raw. They In were fact, they're lower now lower. than they were back then, though. Look, mm-hmm. uh, so they had to do something to bring it back up, and they tried wrestling. Oh my god, wrestling. they had wrestling on a wrestling show. It actually, uh, a forty minute worked. a forty minute match does not bring in ratings. Ah, uh, you know it what? Does. I gotta it disagree does. with you on that. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to disagree listen, with you. On that. Listen, I'm talking. If people are gonna like people tune in to Raw to watch wrestling. They don't. Mm. Okay. Now take I, it for I don't agree with that. Wait, okay, okay, I don't okay. agree with that categorically. Okay, <laughs> let, 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 him finish. let him finish. All right. No, you, oh, did you have more? Mike, you go first. Mike, no, Mike, the floor is yours. Go ahead. People don't tune into Raw to watch wrestling because they can watch wrestling anywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. They, they tune in for the spectacle. Okay. They tune in for the spectacle. They tune in for. Larger than life characters, they tune in for stories. Okay, you will get you always get the hardcore people that do tune into wrestling, but guess what? Those people are not going anywhere. Yeah, those people are the ratings that we have now. If you want to grow the ratings, that's when you have to do like outlandish stories and stuff. You need like the that. more transient people that will tune in and say, "Oh, that keeps them there," right? Yeah. Okay. Like like Undertaker putting Stone Cold Steve Austin on a cross. Like that that's when you're like, dude, you should be watching this. Like I'm not, yeah, yeah. not, not, not disagreeing with you on that. Yeah. Now Ooh. however now however, okay. okay. Every once in a while you gotta put wrestling on your product. Correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I say whenever there's a good fucking match, they're gonna draw more ratings than they normally do. Mm-hmm. Okay? Like every once in a while, like okay, Cena versus Michaels when they went an hour over New York oh, years ago. Yeah. Tell me that wasn't a good fucking match. That was match. great. Benoit and fucking I'm, Triple I'm H. I'm not saying Great they're match. not good matches. I'm not saying they're not good matches. I'm just saying the people who tune into wrestling to watch wrestling are always going to watch it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But if you want to grow an audience, that's what I'm saying. If you want to get ratings as opposed to keep ratings... You, a forty-man match does not increase the ratings. Okay. If you don't, if you do it every once in a while, you know, I mean, I'm not saying do it every fucking week. You know what I mean? You do it. You do it enough that it's it feels special when it comes around. Exactly. Like you come around, we're like, wow, we just had a really great Andrade and Ray match here, right? Mm-hmm. And and really everything else wrestling wise kind of paled for the night. But, you but, know. But the Andrade versus Ray match, as good as it was, mm-hmm. what was it for? Are they building um, towards SummerSlam? Or are they having a match? Well, we don't SummerSlam? see if there's yeah. if there's not a SummerSlam match. Like there's, you know, wait, what did you call uh, 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 last night's Raw? Was the uh, the not re- the not enough time on SummerSlam players? Yeah. So so you're you're setting up for SummerSlam, but you're also still setting up for next week's episode of Raw to tune in for all those people. Oh, that- oh you want you want to take a bet on that? 
<laughs> well, there's you, be you want to take a bet on that? Because I doubt it. You think? Wait, wait. The twenty four seven thing isn't to get you to buy uh, SummerSlam. You're going to tune in next week on Raw to find out what happens next, and they're going to show you what yeah, happens on SummerSlam. We're talking about Ray versus Andrade. Yes. I don't think anything's going to happen with Ray and Andrade next week. Uh, they uh, already teased Ray versus Dolph tonight on SmackDown. Okay. So okay. Andrade gets involved somehow. There you go. Here, here's what. Okay. If you want to be real, if you want to be technical, Raw and SmackDown are just basically infomercials to set up for the pay-per-view every week. Right. Hey, by the network. Hey, check this out. Exactly. Check out this cool Batista documentary we just did. That's how it's always been. Yeah. But especially back in the territories when there was like TV every week. Hey, we're building up to this big, we're building up to Star K. We're building up to WrestleMania. Yeah. Every like now, since we got live TV twice a week. Yeah. It's like, we're building like, it's a, Hey, blah, blah, blah. Pay-per-views is something. You're always, it's an infomercial for the pay-per-view basically. And so when you do get wrestling, on TV, good matches, it's always good to see. You know what I mean? Take it for granted, every match every week ain't the best. You know what no. I mean? So no. that's that's why when I said when like usually rings will go up a little bit more when they have that 40 minute match or that 30 minute match when they that's, really actually go out there and perform, you know? Yeah, that, yeah. That's not true. You're though. really you're really serving two masters at this point, right? Like you gotta you gotta you gotta push the buys. Here and you gotta we were having 20 minute matches every week on Raw. Okay. Like 20, 25 minute matches every week on Raw. The ratings were steadily going down because none of it meant anything. So while I agree that you need to have occasionally a longer match on your show, mm-hmm. it also needs to have a reason for it. So the, 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 because Cena and Shawn Michaels, the reason we remember that match was because it was for the title. Mm-hmm. And I told it, actually, no, 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 actually, no, I did. That wasn't for the belt because I, I know, wait, wait, won that match. Oh, the the Triple H Chris Benoit one. Was yeah, right. both of them. Uh, yeah, the I one... got confused. We were talking about both of them. But yeah, <laughs> it's the cool. Triple H, the Triple H Chris Benoit one was for the title, mm-hmm. and that yeah. was such a good story they built because they had you like this is when Eugene was hot. They used yeah. Eugene at mm-hmm. the end, and it, the whole story itself was that's when that that's good storytelling right there. You know, mm-hmm. but still, best night of the best best match of the night was on main event with the revival and uh, Hawkins and Ryder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the long run. So, uh, also Dana Brooke looking good against Sarah Logan. Um, so they're really doing some good stuff. Like it was, like main event was just like, oh hey, Dana Brooke and Sarah Logan have had a best of thirteen series. <laughs> oh yeah, they're the ones that were feuding. Like 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 that's they not bloodied her up like a month ago, and that's yeah. just still happening. I don't know. I'm surprised you guys didn't get the uh, the main event uh, posse. Uh, the that's on there. Yeah, well, see, well, we were at Fridays, which you know, Fridays is like in the arena. Basically, uh, you go around the door and you're in. Uh, and we're just like, hey, we gotta don't get dessert. We gotta see EC3. Uh, so and was then, he on main event? No, he wasn't at all. Actually, yes, yeah. no, he wasn't. So that was sad. Yeah, cause, I, cause I didn't even know if he was crazy. out for the uh, we stand with uh, uh, promo at the beginning. Oh, I guarantee he was. If he if he's there, I'm sure he was. But it's just like, was he there? So, um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it was, it, either way, it was a fun night. I, I, I feel like we get, uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like we, I, I feel like we get the last couple of rides have been just a lot of fun in person. So I, uh, I mean, beast man, you, you saw, you were, you were around as well. Uh, well, what did you think about that one? I, I think you had some decent seats for that too. Yeah. I was up in, uh, 102, 102, my buddy, who uh, gave me usually gives me free tickets to go with him. So whenever I get the chance to go, I go and it was uh, watching it from a like I don't get to really watch it live as mm. much. Like I used to go to him all the time, but like the last like three or four years, I've been kind of hey, I'm a wrestler, I don't need to go to that shit. But it was it was nice to relax, and actually sit and watch it. It, it. You know what I mean? It is it is nice like to remember why you're in this, right? Mm-hmm. You yep. know, and that and it was. A lot of times that it was that stuff, and remember how big it is, right? Yeah, and it so. was like the. And I know Mad Mike's gonna get mad about this, but <laughs> you know, seeing like it was it, the feel good moment of seeing Goldberg last night mm-hmm. for me. This is now this is my inner Mark talking. I don't care, mm-hmm. but like getting to see Goldberg, it's the second time I got to see him live and in person. I only got to see Hulk Hogan once, mm-hmm. so getting to see those people that's like from my childhood. That's what's cool. You know, what I mean, even though they're even though they're legends now is what we call them, but like still getting to see those people or Shawn Michaels is awesome. You don't get to see him much anymore, especially in Pittsburgh and like 
Yeah, just stuff like that, man. That's the feel good. Oh stuff. yeah, I, I don't, I don't disagree with you on that stuff. That's all great for the live crowd. I just thought that's, you, that's I, tremendous for the live crowd. Yeah, it's just if you focus too much on the live crowd, you lose the TV audience. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, but you need a live crowd in order to make things on TV look good. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Ronnie talks trash about Mad Mike like he didn't nearly cost the show a sponsor. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Matt Matt Harlan's uh, nine year old son, who by the way uh, did some SummerSlam predictions today that we're going to release tomorrow, so look out for that. Uh, he says, "Ronnie, you're in his seat." Who's wow. the nine year old? No, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, kid. You that's, just started a few. A strike two, Ronnie. A strike two. Yeah. A strike two. Wow. Jeez. Uh, there you go. Uh, I might get strike three here in a moment. Uh, let's see. Vince is rewriting SmackDown the couple of weeks, uh, but doesn't do anything to Raw, apparently, is news out there. Uh, and rumors and speculation. You know, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, uh, but Matt Carlin says, I feel like we're hatching a research project. Who wants to gather up 20 years of data and match times and TV raping, ratings? Um, um, I think some books have done that, actually. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, Mad Mike does it like his. It's his job, actually. Or um, something, something, or like something. That, yeah. uh, let's see. Do 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 do. I, I think uh, I think I know how. Many. And and, and, yeah, Bad, and Badger, I already got your shout out. But also, while I'm at it, go check out Waffles with Women. We'll plug more of that in a moment. Uh, <laughs> and also, I got I got Waffles with OBGYN. I did get a message um, <laughs> from uh, announcer Farnsworth. That says, what is the best way to yell at Mad Mike? He is very wrong. I think all caps at Mike 4883 on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, hashtag WMS677. Sure. Uh, while you do that. Yeah, someone actually tweeted me that I that they watch Raw for wrestling. I'm like, great. You're the people <laughs> I'm talking about who are never going to stop watching Raw. Yes. That's not my point. <laughs> it's uh, go, go do that. Go go give Mad Mike a piece yeah, of your mind at on Mad Twitter. Mike at Mad Mike 4883. Email in. Mad Mike is fucking wrong at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Or, 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 or you could add me on fa- on Twitter at Beastman Husk, or you uh-huh. can follow me on Facebook <laughs> at Beastman Husk, <laughs> and you can even also follow me on Instagram at Beastman Husk. So. That's right. That's right. You can tell Ronnie how, how good a job he's doing since we're doing this now. <laughs> but whatever uh, you do, Starks do Wrestling. not book Ronnie. Yes. Yes. Do Hashtag. No, do not book Ronnie. I think, Hashtag I think, don't book me. I think Ronnie is trying to watch what he's saying because he knows strike three is very near. So, mm-hmm. uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so let me ask you something. Yes, question. go for it. How do you feel about? Okay, they announced the next. They announced the next live show. For okay. Back to PPG. Yeah. Friday, December twenty seventh. They always do that. That's yep. good. Now, now they're yep. advertising this house show, but it's going to yeah. be a SmackDown. It's, it's going to be a live SmackDown. Well, well, it's who but knows? Okay, show. let's put it this way. Who knows what that's going to mean in December? <laughs> Those matches, <laughs> the matches they tell me are bullshit. Oh, exactly. When they get, they actually tell me matches. At, oh yeah, no, those at, are never know, happening. In in right before SummerSlam, you know, it's like no, I th- there will be wrestling. I know that. Am I going to get Becky? Who was it? Becky Lynch versus it was it was uh, Rollins versus uh, Baron Corbin for Stork, the- Just imagine the twenty four seven shenanigans you're going to get there. Christmas theme. There you go. Oh, that'd be amazing. Mm-hmm. It's not, and it's not a taping. Wait, wait. It's Friday. Yeah, it's gonna be. A wait, taping. wait. It's a oh, wait. It's SmackDown. It's gonna yeah. be SmackDown because they got moved to Fridays. They're gonna be oh! live on Fox. Because I'm thinking like it's Friday, whole- Christmas week. That's always like the house show Christmas it also tour. Might just be a house show. Well, if it, it might be. It depends on how they do it, but I, I would they imagine pre tape. I would imagine that they're gonna want as many live SmackDowns as possible. Yeah, yeah but it's yeah. Well, they, they did advertise as house. Mad, I Mad said it could be a Raw house show, and that's entirely possible. But I, oh, that's weird. I don't know. Um, no, I really, really kind of write it off. It's like you know, if I can make it, I'll go to the Christmas show because it's gonna be a house show. It's gonna be what it, you know, <laughs> cool. You know, uh, but. Uh, I'm also not ready for a double raw taping again. Oh God! No. No. <laughs> Let's not do that again. That was it was like it was like the best worst thing ever. Uh, so wasn't that where Alberto hit Santa with a car? Oh, poor. Uh, yes, yes. Thought so. Wait, yeah. Again, the best. I remember sitting in uh, next to somebody saying, my "Santa s- got run over by my, Del Rio." Saying, uh, "My son's not going to watch this." <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, 
speaking of the honey badger who's hanging out with us in the chat room we got a episode two of uh, a show that features her as well as katie arquette as well as jinx called waffles with women wrestlers it's over there on indie wrestling dot network indie wrestling dot us go check it out that's also where you can check out the massive bloody violent uh, main event to Sunday's uh, Black Diamond Wrestling with uh, with the Beast Man. I, I, you're well cleaned up after the last I saw you. Wow, <laughs> covered. I don't even want to show that on the show. I'll show it. I, no, show, I don't want to show it. Show how beautiful it was, oh, baby. No, you, with the crimson. Children look away, man. There was. You know what I named the the the, the images and the gifts when I was doing doing that edit. It was it was mask because crimson mask. It was not the wrestler. Uh, so it, it was. It was. Wait, there's actually a wrestler called Crimson Mask. No, 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 no. His, his, his name is Crimson, and he says oh, Crimson okay. like the mask is how he ends oh, his promos. Right. Uh, Wait, hold on. Is this Crimson from TNA? I don't believe it is. No, 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 no. That's that's uh something. That was Crimson. No, that was a guy named Mercer, something Mercer, and he's he's wrestled around here too. Uh, so no, there's okay. two. There's two crimsons. There's a one right. up in Erie area, the yeah. Erie area, and there's like one the up in, and then, yeah. yeah. Oh, that Ronnie. Okay, because there was also a crimson on TNA. Well, he was Amazing Red's cousin. Yeah, is that how they billed him? Yeah, because he because Amazing Red brought him in and said, "You're not gonna fight me. You're gonna fight my cousin." Whoever it was was expecting this really short, skinny guy, and it turned out to be this big, massive redhead called Crimson. Well, let's see here. We have. Uh, can I show it? I'm sorry, this is not entirely full screen the way I'm showing it, but uh, we do have a little bit of uh, the Beast Man and uh, Thomas Mathis, and there, there's, there's, there he is. There he is, opened up. That, that is the start of it. Um, also, I want to know who the sponsor was that had the flyer stuck to you. Oh, that was is. a that was a great that was a thick packet of gravy. I still don't know how the hell that, that was a packet there. of gravy. That was a how packet did that of gravy. Get there? I have no idea. What is what kind of match is this? Wrestling, <laughs> dude, wrestling in West Virginia is weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening out there? Oh jeez. Uh, but anyways, you you can look at it and ponder whether that's uh, gravy or something else. There was, you know, you weren't the other one because there was a flyer stuck to somebody at Rise from Saturday Night too. <laughs> was and that the, also gravy? Or it was, was that that not gravy. I think it, I think it was Doctor Dan's Rock, Rockingham's uh, f- uh, flyers from earlier in the night, and they got stuck to somebody later in the night when they got thrown out on the floor. So it was just like you know cross advertising. No, there was great stuff there with Black Diamond Wrestling. Like I said, it, it was. It was a, one of the one of the reviews I got afterwards was like I didn't know I signed up for a death match. Uh, so uh, it wasn't no death. Match, it wasn't right. a death match, but I can understand. Uh, that I, was pro wrestling. That was that was pro, that was pro wrestling. I want to talk a little bit about more about that in a moment, but also check out a lot of wrestling this weekend. I say waffles with women, um, as well as rise wrestling with a Y uh, from Saturday night, which did feature um, Badger, of course, uh, in a big five on five uh, match. Rise versus Groundhouse, also. Uh, uh, involving uh, uh, Shirley Doe, uh, Christian Awar, Lee Morarty. Uh, we had uh, we had a, a great two out of three falls match with Keith Hott and Matt Connard in that show, and uh, uh, Jim Sterling. I I don't know how many people out there are aware. Of, I was not aware of Jim Sterling, but apparently I'm one of the few. After I saw his YouTube channel, uh, he joined us as well uh, as a very interesting star masked um, um, wrestler. Uh, so that was a really interesting uh, sight to see, uh, and 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 fun to see him uh, part of the show. And uh, apparently, a lot of people got came and saw the show for the first time, and that was a really cool, uh, uh, hot night there in in Rise. Uh, crazy stuff in Black Diamond Wrestling as well. And of course, we got uh, some old stuff coming up. We got new Premier Wrestling up. Uh, we have a Zero Hour uh, from uh, I think February just went up there. Uh, there's some more of Beast Man for you guys on the video, as well as we just also uh, launched on there refereeing 101. Right, cowboy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> refereeing 101 with Jimmy Corderas. 
Uh, so uh, if you're a wrestler, especially if I work a show with you, please go sign up for a trial now at IndieWrestling.network, and you can go watch that. It's a great seminar about refereeing, like stuff that even helped me when I'm even thinking about filming wrestling and you hear that, referee George, placement. Watch it. George, especially uh, <laughs> you or other referees, you know who you are. Uh, but uh, a really cool inside thing and a great interview with uh, Jimmy that we did. Jimmy Curtis, <laughs> really awesome. For? Ronnie Starks. <laughs> No. Ronnie Starks. Hi. Have you watched it? Do you know how to referee? I know how to ref. I yeah, the it. only referee I know that apologizes to me during a match. First of all, that was that funny. It wasn't funny. I about kicked your ass. <laughs> That's strike three, boys. <laughs> it's strike three? No, oh, no. Strike three. Oh, no. That's strike three? That's oh, yes. It's not happening. Oh, it's happening. We got to do it live in living what color. What is happening no. right now? Happening. Let's take a poll out there on Facebook. Who wants to see Ronnie Starks get chopped live tonight here oh, on no. Wrestling Mayhem? Show? We Absolutely not. Right? We're not doing that. Well, I'll tell you what. What if you do it to me? You know, this is. Look at I got I got to say, this is an on, old bro. time. Look. This is an old time tradition here on the show. Mm-hmm. And and honestly, I'm surprised it's taken him two shows to get shot. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. And my girlfriend's loving it. She's just laughing around. (laughs) Ronnie Starks. I'm like super censored tonight. Like, what the shit? (laughs) (laughs) You didn't know what you were getting into. Getting shopped, trying not to get us to lose sponsors tonight. Jeez. Yeah, I mean that's every reason why to get shopped. I mean that that that, that was kind of that was kind of the first last straw. (laughs) So. Missy, put a poll, uh, put a poll out there on uh, the chat and see who wants to, if Ronnie wants to get chopped. See who All wants right. to see what Ronnie wants to get chopped. All right, well, well, well I'll, I'll predict. I can already predict the results of that. Yeah, point. I already know what's going to happen, and that sucks. We'll check that out at the end of the set. And, uh, and end sorry, of the apparently, hmm. apparently, I have Xbox heat now. You have <laughs> Xbox heat, <laughs> apparently. From who? What did you do? Do um, your bag at at <laughs> Jay Worth on Twitter. Okay. Wow, that's great. He found you on Twitter. Um, anyways, Beastman, we did it. Oh. I wanted to talk a little bit about this match. I would say this you said th- this was wrestling. It did feel very old school in this uh last man standing match. Oh, this was my favorite shot that popped up. It was right when you kind of turned around here and we got the a good shot. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to give to. Look at roll that back a little bit. What him follow me around? He's following your no no no. There was a good turnaround where where we saw the, the crimson mask a little bit on the outside. So but uh, anyways, like I, I love you. Keep saying this is wrestling. Tell us a little more about that. He's watching his own match. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's like, how'd that look? <laughs> so, well, I mean, I'm not saying like how people are like this is wrestling. Like, tr- tr- tr. No, not, <laughs> no, 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 not no, 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 no. Like for me, okay, for me, that match was what I grew up watching. You know, I mean, the old school 1980s, 90s, early 2000s, knockdown, drag out right, wrestling. Right. Something you know that looked I mean? like a fight, right? Yeah. And it was a fight. I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm still walking funny after <laughs> Sunday. So there was, there was a lot of nut shots uh, for sure. But uh, it, it was, I say, it was, it was like the old, like, it reminds me of the old Harley Race Hogan Texas death matches I get on VHS. On those, like you know, look, like not the things I'm going to find on Saturday Night Main Event, right? Yeah. So, um, and, and, you know that that's kind of that feel of it. It was cool to do something. You, you get a lot of opportunity to do something that old school. Not often, but when I do, you know, it's that's when when I get an opportunity to do something like that. That's when like bell. That's when all the bells and whistles come out, and that's when like I take my like I can I can get like not saying I can get crazy. Okay, I've had crazy matches in my my 13 years in the business, but I mean, mm. like, I want to get crazy. I'm going to get crazy. So, <laughs> I mean, I went from punching a security guard to yeah, threatening yeah. Bradley Rubber, Ruthers again. I mean, well, I mean, that's, that's everybody. I mean, Ronnie's so. used to that, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but kinda... Ronnie can't scare nobody. So I It's mean, true. It's, I'm not intimidating whatsoever. To just like, <laughs> a fucking prick. I mean,. That just that match, that's like a Bruiser Brody Abdullah the Butcher oh, kind yeah. of match that like I enjoy. So being able to not replicate something like that, but being able to kind of uh mm. oh 
<laughs> there's uh, the, we do have a parental advisory at the beginning of this show if you guys are on video so uh we're definitely using it this week well i'm watching on the little screen i'm waiting to see her reaction on the oh because well, right oh, your girlfriend hasn't seen it yet no. oh it was like oh she's I like, I, i'm like i wonder why she didn't come to this show <laughs> it's not real blood. It's okay. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's chicken ketchup. Blood. Chicken, all right, it's ketchup. chicken blood. Chicken blood. It's, it's, uh, chicken, ketchup. chicken blood. Chicken blood. Chicken blood. I think that'd be worse. Like here, spear some chicken blood on you. <laughs> I'll just bring it from my work, man. Give you a whole gallon of chicken blood. You know? <laughs> the, the the story behind that mm. behind that match. I mean, he, the last couple months, you know, putting Mathis in the hospital, mm. which was real. He really he, he went, went to the hospital. Yeah, and then him coming back last month. Saying he wanted his revenge. Well, goddamn it, he got his revenge. All right, so, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I mean, that's that that's pro. That's wrestling. I mean, yeah. you almost the killed the guy. So you know, like, fuck, you almost killed me, Ronnie. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> but exactly. So you can check that out. That's part of uh, uh Black Diamond's Heat Wave. Uh, you got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, again, you got the belt. You got Friday Night Fight Nights. You're first because you were not at the last one. Yeah, because you know, no one. F- Decided to tell me that they moved the show to Friday. Yeah. Uh, so everybody, I heard uh, some people down at the uh, Russell Plex aren't happy with me right now, but you know, I'll be there this Friday night. I'm going to defend my belt. You know, I heard there's uh, I heard that Shirley Doe has a belt now and that's fine. That's fine. Shirley, you keep your belt. We'll put, you put yours up. I'll put mine up. I'll walk home with this belt, and I'll take your belt as well, because... The only thing missing from this is a WrestleMania 10 ladder match. I mean, anybody got a, I know there's a... I know there's a fucking ladder there somewhere. <laughs> ladder I've had a ball. ladder match in that building before. If there is a... If there is a Shawn Michaels Razor Ramon moment in this match, <laughs> it'll be amazing. <laughs> so... But, uh, uh... No, a lot of stuff going on there, and the big thing... The biggest thing, you got a... You got a, a charity show going on. Again, at Benway to West Virginia, where... Well, you bled over last week. Uh, so uh, tell me about that. Is it, is a really good cause. I, I don't know much about uh, the individual uh, uh, it, uh, it's for here. Well, let me sit, let me uh, sit up here for a second. Uh, adjust right. my shirt so my fat oh. roll don't show. We'll there, be all right there, there you here, go. So. He's going in promo mode right now. <sighs> all right. So <laughs> on Sunday, this Sunday, August 11th, coming up uh, down at the Diamond Plex, mm-hmm. there is a uh, – I'm putting together a show for a – a friend of mine whose mother passed away. Mm. Uh, her name is Kenneth Fensley. She is. She was alive. She was the sweetest, kindest, nicest person you could ever meet. Mm. She. It didn't matter like if she liked you or not. She always would give you the shirt off her back if you needed it. She was one of those genuine people. And like how I knew her was her. Uh, Husband uh, Donnie has also has ALS, so and like right now they're having with her passing, it's kind of help it and like hurting a little bit financial wise. So yeah. my my intentions are to like they've always helped me out so much. Like basically, um, her Donnie and his brother Ronnie. And I'm not bringing bowl. Like like they taught me how to bowl. So it's kind of my way of saying, "Hey, this is my way of giving back." Mm. Not because of bowling, but just because they have always helped me out so much over the years. So, uh, all the proceeds to the show, every dollar that's made from the gate to the concession stand, is going to go to them. Awesome. I don't want like we got wrestlers coming in from Maryland, Ohio, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Virginia, mm. uh, Indiana coming to this. So you there's you look at the card right there. We got Mammy Fulton from NXT and uh, I've got Impact see, Wrestling. I've got to see that. I got to meet uh, Fulton now in uh, Dayton. He's been doing some really good stuff. A former <laughs> mentor, one of the original members of Sanity, actually. Yep. Uh, <laughs> then we got local favorite, my favorite, my favorite the guy says I'm a nice guy in the business, but I know he's bullshitting me, Sam Adonis. <laughs> oh, look who he's facing too. So oh, now, look at that. So look at that. That'll, that'll be a good time. Yo, Sam's another old school guy too. Okay. That's probably why. At least he, at least he's bullshitting you a little bit. Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> a little work ski, you know what I mean? Little, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then uh, we also added uh, WWE superstar. Oh, sorry. Uh, we also added James Ellsworth to the card. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he's coming in for the show as well. Okay. 
So uh, he's going to be wrestling. I don't know who he's going to be wrestling because I still got to figure everything out. Like, <laughs> and I'll tell you what right now. I, for all the Justin Plummers and the Jim Millers and the Quentin Magnums and the Lou Martins and all, oh, Derek, I'm not even going to just Dr. Feel Bass because Derek, your last name is fucked up to begin with to pronounce. So <laughs> uh, to all the Marshall Gambinos out there in the world, I can understand what you got and, and Rick Diamonds, of course. Uh, I can understand what you guys go through when it comes to promoting. So this is probably going to be, this is uh, my third show I've ever done promoting wise. Like mm. I've always done benefits. So, cause in my honest opinion, I'm not, it's not about, it's not about, it's for the people mm-hmm. that, you know I mean? I don't get, like, I, don't, I can care less if I make any money off of it. Cause I'm not making no money off this. You know yeah, I mean? Yeah. My, my goal, like, I got small, like, I mean, I got, uh, I'm gonna might as well name off sponsors too because they, they they're giving me money for it. Uh, <laughs> St. Clair Lanes, uh, Fat Boys Auto, Sell It Here, uh, Bob's Lunch, they all donate money, and thankfully, like all the guys that are coming down are getting something. So that was my main goal. Was like everybody comes down, they're like even though it's a, they're donating their time, they should go home with something. So money wise. So I'm happy to be able to do that because, like, that's my main goal is to care about. Like, I worry about more people than I worry about myself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, with this show, I'm hoping to have – I mean, I'd love to have a sellout. Like, I'm hoping if I get 100 people, I'll be happy. Mm-hmm. So – and you're coming down to film it. Yep. Ronnie's going to be there. So I'm um, booked. He's booked. Ronnie. Well, Mad Mike. Well, <laughs> at the moment, he is booked, but uh, we'll see how the rest of the show goes. <laughs> but we have – like. The card itself, you got, I mean, Matt Man Fulton's going to be in action. Queen mm. Amina, Super Oprah's returning to the area. I, that, yeah, good. I haven't seen Super Oprah that, in years. That's the big one. That's what everybody's excited about. That's what Sam Adonis, who? I'm there for Super <laughs> Oprah. Let's be honest about that. And she's taking on Queen Aminata. Yes. Like, the Queen has been doing some fantastic stuff. We've been filming some stuff with her in uh, uh, Angel Gate and Fight Society. And I know, I know the guys when uh, I think experienced her for the first time going over to shoot promos and just came back with like that was something else. Nah, eh, she's all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, she, but I, she's taking on Super Oprah. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you put the post back up real quick? So yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We also got the Benwood Invitational Battle Royal. Okay. We have a trophy. I got a trophy made for this spectacular oh, yeah? Battle Royal. Of, uh, but this is like kind. It's just, not going to make be... sure Ronnie doesn't get it. Oh, this is the goal. Uh, <laughs> Because I, I, I mean, I mean, it's questionable with trophies. <laughs> I understand. So, like the th- the thing with the battle royal is, is like we got so many young guys coming mm-hmm. in, like they're up and coming right now. So this is more for like them. Okay. So it's it, it's also get a chance because everybody. Like, I've had people, hey, can I work the show? Can I be on the show? I'm like, why? Well, but mm. you know, this is a chance for them to come in, like, hey, show what you got. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, yeah. This is, make a it, moment. It's more for like cameras are rolling, pal. Exactly. It's more for younger, like the younger guys coming up to get an opportunity to work. Yeah. Because like right yeah. now, like there's, it's a the, the area is oversaturated with young talent. Yeah. Good young talent, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's 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 giving them a little time to show what they can do. You know, it's good. It, it, well, it, and it's great because like you know opportunities like this with the with with you and Stomp Out Cancers and the Sean Phoenix shows. Um, plus, oh yeah, that's next. That's, that's, Friday, that's next week. It? Just oh, a small Jesus. plug. We'll talk about that. Well, David Lawless will be on next week to talk more about this. And I understand he just got announced for the Moron Invitational again. <laughs> so we'll see where that goes. Um, my right. my opponent's been yet to be announced. Um, okay, I'm looking forward to. Looking forward to coming back to Collinsville for Bud Murphy's afterwards. So okay, that's, the spot. that's one reason why I like one reason why I like going to Rise. And no one's talking about cancers because of Bud Murphy. So give them <laughs> give them props. That's the hot spot. I guess That's we're going what... to Bud Murphy's. Huh? I guess we're going to Bud Murphy's. Who says I'm inviting you? Well, then, you know, whatever. But, <laughs> and all, but for real, next sun, uh, Sunday night, Diamond Plex, 2 o'clock bell time. We're doing it a little right. earlier than normal because SummerSlam Sunday. So I know. You don't even have to miss SummerSlam. Go check out no, some wrestling exactly. and then go watch some wrestling. For a good cause. Wrestle for it. This is for a good. This is. <laughs> WrestleMania three is what WrestleMania. That is what every call, that's what all the guys oh, called it last time. So this is the great. I love that. And there's there's Gambino Pro that runs, and there's WrestleMania. This is great. Oh Jesus Christ! That's gonna be the hashtag WrestleMania. Jeez. Hashtag WrestleMania. Make but, it happen. But right now I'm on vacation. Like uh, everything. Like I'm like I'm going down. I got I got 
thing I got to do with the news on Thursday. I got nice radio show Friday. Then I got Rockstar tomorrow. I got Real Shoot Thursday. I got right. Fight Side Friday. I got KSWA Saturday. I got my so show. So things are good. Like the the beast man, the beast man is everywhere. It seems. It seems like you're popping up in a new town uh, every other weekend here. Um, you're and also a new fountain from time to time. Yeah. as well <laughs> so uh it, it it's it's been fun so so we uh, one people are still amazed at like the south side video um that that didn't end badly uh when you did that back <laughs> in uh what was that february you were doing that i uh, think that was march uh, yeah march march ish i just know it randomly snowed after where uh, yeah. afterwards when we all blamed lady frost yeah uh so <laughs> but i mean this is i mean we've you, you've done stuff with the pizza shop yeah You've done multiple things by you gotta now. You got to do more. You like, got to do more, uh, do obviously. More. But ha- have you run into trouble at any of these these incidents since you've been doing this? Not. Si- I've done. I just did a couple for a festival okay. a couple weeks ago down okay. that down at the Hot Dog Fest in Huntington. And the perfect place. Yes, yeah, so and the cops did not give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, which was nice. Uh, but at, other than that, no, I've kind of, I kind of like, ever since like almost getting arrested in this house, I've been kind of like tamed about it a little bit. So, <laughs> like, hey, let's not just yell and rant in the middle of like one of the more dangerous active places yes. in the city. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I did learn to stay near John. If I'm going to do it, have John Bolo with me. That way, everything will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, um, 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 Search uh, John Bullen Warchild if you want to see what we're talking about here. I don't think we've ever had him on the show. He's he's one who's been. I love Bullen. He needs to come on here. He's you know what I I've I've talked to him more in the last couple of years. Like known of him, uh, I've been around him for probably ten, and uh, he's a cool dude. Uh, but uh, no, go check that. I think I think he's training in Canada. Last I knew, does that seem right? Uh, Is that what I heard? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So he's done some stuff. Um. Oh, I had another question for you. Sure. <laughs> but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so uh, that was supposed to lead into something. Uh, probably just probably just chopping Ronnie at this point. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. How, how's the poll looking, Missy? Did we, did we pull one up? We've, we've gone to seven. So seven? Seven for chops? Seven for chops. I mean, that's... That's, uh, that's, that's uh, uh, substantial. You can all go straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. There's a kendo stick right there. So there is. Oh, hey! I'll take a kendo stick shot over a chop. Really? How bad could it be? That's uh, a lie. I've uh, taken a kendo uh, stick whoa, before. No, whoa, whoa. no, I've taken a kendo stick before. No, Wes, you can oh, chop no, me. He's going. He's no, going for it. No. I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will let you. I will even let you chop me, Ronnie. All right, it's okay. You, I'll give you. I'll let you do it to me once. This is a special before break. Right. Apparently, this is happening. Yes. Uh, we're, we we're, get, well, we're we gotta, get it, we gotta get it for the live stream here. But uh, go ahead there. I think we'll I see. think we're gonna do it now because he's getting ready. Let's do it, brother. All right, this is happening. Let, let uh, me put my we will on, describe so. for uh, we will describe for our friends on the uh, audio <laughs> podcast here. I think they'll be able to hear it. Uh, I think yeah, they'll probably be able to hear it. We'll turn the. Right, I'll, let turn you, I'll let you give me one. All right, then I get to give you one. All right. <laughs> right here. He's taking his shirt off. Yeah. Oh My boy. Shirt's off. All right. Oh, you know there are. Uh, just to let you guys know, there's a lot of cops out there right now. By the way, <laughs> this is good. There are. He's been working out, out a little bit. Um, so Beast Man has his shirt off, but I mean that's not like unusual, really. And uh, what are you taking stuff out of your pockets? Uh, you gotta, what are you worried about? You do, here. All right, there. All right, all right. There you go. <laughs> He's got a microphone. All right, you ready, Ronnie? I genuinely hate all of you. <laughs> all right, it'd be, what's is this the Enzo hat? Yeah, it's the Enzo. Oh, please put it on. <laughs> no, I don't even like Enzo, dude. Oh, oh yeah. great! Now we're role playing. I'll, I'll be Joey Janelli, the Enzo warrior. Right? Oh, you do, <laughs> do the fake fight <laughs> like it's right. actually happening. What is happening right, right now? He's gonna fucking light me up, and it's gonna be disgusting. Great. You hit like a bitch. <laughs> oh, I mean, he's gonna fucking. No, I don't want to hit you. Again. Do it again. Because you're gonna wait, hit me really wait, hard. Was that hit me really was that Ronnie's? Hard. Yeah, that was Ronnie's. V Rock hits harder. There we go. V Rock hits harder. Yeah. Oh no. Oh fucking hell. You got it. You well, got it. Because I know how bad take this is gonna suck for Just me. Just take a deep no, breath. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Go on. Just you're ride the roller coaster. You're going to break blood vessels in my fucking chest, man. But this is the first on the Mayhem show, so we're making history. I can't even fucking Will you, you fucking just way. do it, you pussy? There. Okay. 
Is that better? All right, yeah. All Please right. don't fucking. All right. I mean, right, take guy, your shirt off. I mean, I mean, I mean. Granted, the guy was like was like bleeding Sunday night, so I'm sure you're. And throwing up too. And so. throwing up. All right. Wait, were you throwing up? I, I wasn't throwing up. Hell no. Here, Mathis was throwing up. Don't hit me really fucking hard. hard. I, uh, Here we go. This he is actually. He acts like I'm like the stiffest guy in the wrestling. Match. I know. Still, man. <laughs> There's man. worse. Fuck, dude. What? Anna's loving it right now. Shut she up, is man. loving it. Uh, All right, here. Yeah, All right. Right. Hold on the microphone. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do live commentary over live here. Live commentary everybody. again. Uh, what? All right, uh, Anna. What? Are, what is happening right now? Are you scared? Are you? Are you ready? Wait, 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 not. Oh, 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 that oh. Didn't sound pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, there it is. There it is. Oh yeah. That that it, oh. That wasn't even that hard. I know, but it took a second, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Huh? That was nice. Hey, pull up your shirt and see him. Yeah, all right. On that night, uh, you know what? He's gonna he's gonna walk right. that off. He's I'm going. Pull, to, pull up the shirt. Let's he's see. He's gonna it. walk that off. He's rub, gonna rub some dirt rub, on. There we go. Ah. There we go. Ah. <laughs> he's gonna rub some pizza on it from our good friends Ooh. over there, uh, so right down the road <sighs> at Slice on Broadway, I supporting Broadway. Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, so oh, you yeah. can run on those or you can rub it on those. Uh, uh, those chop pains. Uh, it'll feel better. Just the red sauce will just just help soothe it hey, hey, a little hey, bit. It's it's new it. uses that Is we didn't really know. Red? Was What's it that? really red? Well, just soothe the redness. Was it really so red? So you don't. It won't look bad tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna hurt like tomorrow. Like a big ha- a big handprint. Yeah, it's gonna hurt like tomorrow. like before. I'd recommend it. Check it out. Definitely definitely the sausage version. Do you want to take a picture right now and put it on the thing? Oh, we got it. We got it. Uh, go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Supporting Pittsburgh podcast with the perfect pepperoni pizza here in Beach View, Carnegie, East End, PNC Park. I know a lot of you guys are not in those areas. Our friends uh, across the country in the Mayhem universe. And uh, But uh, please, if you are uh, 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 wherever you are, if you want to slice on your Broadway, you got a Broadway Avenue in your town, take a picture. Tweet PGH underscore slice on Twitter. And uh, tell them the beast man says hi. Yes, <laughs> Are they open for right sure. Now? Yeah, I don't yeah. think they're open right now. Also, your mic's off. You might oh, want to check shit. the switch. There's on pizza there. over there. There, there is pizza over there. We have it. All right, can we, y'all we, hear me? We has it. What we time they close, Missy? Oh, no, they close like a. Um, I think they closed like twenty minutes ago. Oh, that camera's still not right. <laughs> that can- I mean, well, we we gotta readjust the camera. Oh here. Jesus! We gotta set everything else right. Uh, the Beast Man is here, of course. Please check out Fight Society this Friday night at McKeesport, or check out the VOD shortly after on uh, Pro Wrestling Network and IndieWrestling.us. And of course, uh, uh, come to town, come to Benwood, West Virginia, and check out the. Uh, uh, the uh, memorial event that he's doing there at 2 p.m. Uh, we'll, th- we'll mention that again. Uh, and Rockstar. Shit, Rockstar. Check that out. They'll be on the Rockstar Network, I think, mm-hmm. right? So they have stuff online over there. They, 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 they tend to. We'll be right back with the big question. Will we uh, find out why the, in- the independent wrestling scene is dying and more after this? Dying. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Yeah. Uh, well, here's your crossover. Dude, I just started playing Rocket League like hardcore because I realized I had six days Yay! left to get oh, I, I had Rocket six League. days left to get the Macho Man hat and the Ultimate Warrior decals. Yeah, I stayed up sword. I stayed up way too late getting the Macho Man hat last night. So, Speaking of the Macho Man, I gotta it. get that Slim Jim figure. Oh, the Slim Jim figure. I don't know this where is where it crosses it. over. Yeah. We've been talking about toys and geek You'll stuff for the last ten minutes while while Ronnie has been rubbing cold Miller light bottles on his chest to recover here. So Good now. I really hope that came off on audio. Okay. Have they said it sounded like a shotgun. So. <laughs> the, the live chat was going nuts for it. We did take a, another camera on that. Cool. So it was just, man. And also I just, we just really need a camera outside to take live shots of people walking by or when stuff like that happens. Uh, anyways. Uh, so this is the wrestling mayhem show. We got Ronnie Starks here and pain. We got mad Mike up in New York and the beast man is here the Fight Society champion, heavyweight champion. There it is. My precious. My yes. precious is. Uh, but uh, it is time for the big question. And this is actually one. I love, I love, I said, hey, Tina, Tina had the big question. And uh, she's like, when did I give you a big question? <laughs> so this is actually, I think, something she asked in the uh, Facebook group that uh, mi- mi- man, producer Missy, uh, actually um, uh, picked up on and said, yeah, hey, this is in here. Uh, so uh, so 
there was some news in indies. Um, Wrestle Circus had folded last week, and now Defiance going under uh, as well. Um, I think actually, uh, what is a oh whatever promotion that was a really big one in um, ASW. I think it's ASW in, in California. The ones when it's out there for the the Rise Women's uh, Pay Per View in California, uh, they announced that they're going to be folding at the end of the year as well. Uh, uh, promotions that have been kind of touted as they kind of seem to be the super indie pro- promotions uh, out there. This is where you see your Joey Ryan's and, and just some big names and crazy stuff happening. I know Wrestle Wrestle Circus when I first saw the posters, they were just insane. The the number of people on there. Mm-hmm. So, how does this change the landscape in wrestling in the Indies? You know, again, these big promotions seem to be not able to hold up with what looks like they're doing big stuff. How is this not working at this point? Um, you know, what does this mean? Or is this kind of getting crushed under the uh, weight of everybody expecting uh, AEW in the fall, uh, plus just too many promotions out there you know what 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 does that do what kind of ripples does that or does it not do anything in india it's just another company that folded to you guys there's uh there's a lot of companies out there I mean, there's mm-hmm. a lot of indie companies there's a lot of companies within 20 miles of here so yeah so like <laughs> so, all these wrestling guys they're not gonna be hurting for jobs yeah except for me because i'm not booked but uh, <laughs> uh i hate that's how it's gonna be a running joke now uh but yeah, plenty of you guys are going to get work. So indie wrestling is not dying. Mm-hmm. It's just that some places... It, it just you know, some businesses either, didn't make it work? Yeah, you either nut up or shut up. Mm-hmm. You know? Okay. That's usually how it is. Okay. You either run your show, or if you don't have the money to run your show, then I guess you're not running anymore. And, and those guys are going to go somewhere else to work. And you, you see this a lot like uh, on, on different platforms, right? Yeah. Um, so in, in different levels in different towns, I mean, it's kind of the, I mean, it could also just be business Yeah, it's know, just business at that yeah. point. Yeah. So it's interesting. Uh, Mike, what do you think about this? I, I think it, there's a little bit of oversaturation. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, just, just a scotch, you know, um, I think it's also a lot of people rely on the bigger feds mm-hmm. to get like the bigger matches and stuff like that and, and they they don't have the access right to the more local feds that they need like of course there are sites that have stuff but a lot of them have like pay windows and stuff like that and if you're already paying for the wwe network mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. new japan or something like that you're probably not going to shell out necessarily for indie stuff with guys you don't necessarily know right right so i mean it like it's they need they need more exposure, but at the same time, like I think indie wrestling as a whole kind of needs less exposure because mm-hmm. there's so much of it everywhere. I had a really inter- one one really interesting conversation was talking with somebody. I was like, "Oh, hey, why don't you check out this promotion? They're doing some really good stuff over here." And they're like, "Yeah, I am like actively following three local promotions that books my weekends." Like as a fan, you know, like and that is a consideration, right? I mean, you guys see the super fans, basically the the local super fans you see at like multiple shows, mm-hmm. right? Between West Virginia and the Pittsburgh area, it's it's you know that you see them that much. You got to remember they're paying a ticket every time they come, mm-hmm. and often the front row seat. So like that that's that's a consideration, you know, when when certain shows have multiple shows in a weekend. You know, up against each other. It's like, well, I'm going to this one, so I can't go to this one. You know, and and that's kind of a thing too. I don't know if it's hurting anybody into the ground necessarily. You know, in the area, but um, you know, they find their audiences. But uh, it, it's it's interesting. So I think looking at these promotions again, they just looked like they were a defy. I'm not quite as familiar with, but I'd see something here and there, or somebody we know would be involved with them. But again, they just looked like they were. Everything was a super show, and I, I don't know if it was just we were. They were just dumping money and ran out at that point, you know. I mean, but, but then we also see NEW just ran locally, and they they're doing crazy. They're doing mm-hmm. kind of like the Jerry Lawler, Billy Gunn kind of things, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I mean, who, you, you can't rely on names no to draw in. 
well, I your think fans. A, I think a promotion like an NEW does because they're kind of a traveling. This is here. Yeah. This is to go get a sting. Like that's big time wrestling is is kind of similar. Hey, and I you- and I wonder how much of their stuff is going to be impacted by AEW. Exactly, exactly. Because they have a lot of AEW guys, mm-hmm. and we don't necessarily know how their contracts work if they can show up on stuff that's going to be released on DVDs. That's right. That's right. Uh, that, that, that that's a big concern for iPay pay per view. As well, uh, mm-hmm. Kevin Harvey was talking about that at, at at the last ride show I was at. You know, talking to the crowd. I don't, I don't know if that speech is out there, uh, but uh, he was like, "Yeah, some of these people, some of these girls are on TV. We can't do eye pay per view with them anymore, right?" Mm-hmm. So even though it's not a full on platform, it's still technically eye pay per view. So, uh, Beast Man, what do you what do you think about this kind of uh, landscape shift? I mean, you've been everywhere. You've been on some of these kind of super shows lately. Well. Uh, indie wrestling is not dying; it's thriving right now. Yeah, yeah. Like it's mm-hmm. anywhere; it's thriving. Mm. Any state that I've been to, any region, it's it's thriving right now. Like houses have been doubled. Like any promotion, houses have been doubled. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't matter where it's at throughout the country. Like it's thriving. Like it, it's not dying. The only reason why people like like wrestle circus are divided, and I don't know who. The promoters or anything like that, but from when it sounded like from how you guys were talking about, it, it sounds like they just threw all their fucking eggs in a basket and they just ran out. They mm-hmm. ran out of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, sometimes that happens. Like there's a lot of co- like there's a lot of companies that'll put all their money into one big show and they break even. They're happy, you know. That's that's what the problem is nowadays. With like everybody's trying to be, they're trying to compete with. People like Pro Wrestling Gorilla, Ring of Honor, yeah. when they don't need to. So they're looking at, at things like that and say, oh, that's the template for success is to have this level names and making impacts, right? Versus, like, like, like to me, like, I, I remember when I first started going to indie, I, I came for, oh, I heard, I heard of Low Key, right? Oh, he's going to be at this show. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, we should check them out. My friends tell me about him from Ring of Honor that wasn't on TV yet, mm-hmm. right? Uh, or, you know, or, oh, hey, the AJ Styles was there last month. So, oh, something's happening here. And again, he's a guy that was on like uh, TNA pay per views mm-hmm. at the time. Uh, and that was it. Um, but there was a, like that little bit of buzz. You go, and then I learn who a. Marshall Gambino, Ray Rowe, J Rock, uh, uh, Jimmy DeMarco is, you know, Troy Lords, Super Hentai, and say, Oh, wow, these guys are cool. I'm mm-hmm. going to keep buying a ticket. Right. You know, and I mean, you guys have been, you know, we see the shows where, uh, hey, Brian Pillman came into Fight Society. It was like, wow, Fight Society is actually pretty cool. But I really kind of came for Brian Pillman. But I think I'll keep coming next month too, you know, mm-hmm. like that, that I think is a, a winning growing thing versus like this super show mentality mm. so here the problem is and this is like with any with some a lot of us talk about mm-hmm. especially in pittsburgh it's oversaturated and i and I'm, what i mean by oversaturated like you said sort everybody mm-hmm. runs 20 miles from each other yeah and then when you try to like and, and this is one thing i liked about fight side moving to fridays mm-hmm. uh was because they changed the whole landscape of being different, okay? Mm-hmm. Everybody and their mothers run the first, second Saturday of the month, okay? Because yeah. that's when... There's only so many Saturdays, and there's way yep. more promotions. Yep, and then with with what Quinn's doing, mm-hmm. you know, Friday nights, what's there to do? Really, yeah, Pittsburgh, there's a lot to do on Friday nights, but you know what? Some people like wrestling, they can come to wrestle. They mm-hmm. can come and watch. Some people can't go on Saturdays. Yeah, so it's a difference, you know what I mean? Like, if... Because everybody's running Saturdays. Mm-hmm. You know, there's one company in the area that's running on Sundays, and that's Black Diamond. That's the only one, but that's a wheeling. Yeah, that, that's, you know, I consider it more or less the area, but when you talk about a landscape of, quote, Pittsburgh wrestling, yeah, they're like, well, that's West Virginia. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's just as far away. It's, I think, pretty much from the city as, as say, Rise and, and where 2PW runs. Yeah. But it's West Virginia, so it's not considered. Exactly. So... so it, Anywhere else, like I mean, I'm like, I'm just now getting my name out there in Philly, New Jersey, New York area. Mm-hmm. Uh, out there, promotions work with each other, mm-hmm. so which is nice. Was uh, that you that just posted about like everybody working together? Somebody, somebody would just put a big post about that lately. That was getting around in the last week. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, I know I posted something uh, yesterday about younger talent, like being patient about their opportunity because. Mm-hmm. 
like when I started out, like I was wanting to be a, have a match every show, but I didn't yeah, understand about yeah. building up to a story to a match. So right, right, like that, like that young kid Ronnie Starks. <laughs> One oh, booked oh, every freaking yeah, weekend. Yeah, you know? yeah. Going uh, alone, I made something for you. Okay, hashtag book Ronnie. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be bad. And, <laughs> and another thing, sorg about like the Indies right now is okay. Yeah, AEW just came in. Like, yeah. AEW is now the new Haas company. They're going to try to compete with WWE. The only reason why AEW is around is because they got a money backer who owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm-hmm. Okay? If it was anywhere else, they'd be... If they did what they did without Tony Khan. Okay? They would be pro wrestling gorilla in that aspect there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, they'd be in that, like, in that type of indies right now. But they're going all the way. They're all in. Figured no like they no pun intended. They are all in. They want to go all the. They want to go all out. And I, god damn, I hope they do well because mm-hmm. we need it right now. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And like with them coming out, like right now, like with like in Pittsburgh, like I said, like I said earlier, you're so like, I'm 33. Mm-hmm. Ronnie's 40. 36. Close <laughs> enough. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no, no. Yep, yep. Book Ronnie. There you go. All right. <laughs> you know, like. There's so much good, good young talent coming out now from IWC, Fight Society, mm-hmm. and uh, Rise. Every school is turning out fantastic. Yes, and, like, I, and I even had one, and Garrett Lee, surprisingly. So, since I am the Dominic <laughs> DiNucci of West Virginia, which I, <laughs> I wanted to put that over. So, uh, I can't hashtag that. That's too, I, I, nobody's gonna remember how to spell DiNucci. No, no. We'll, we'll, you know, if you want to take I a picture DiNucci, of Dominic but... and me next week at uh, at Stomp Out Cancer, you can. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he, uh, he's yeah, there we'll, next week. We'll do so. that. We'll do that. But, you know, my, like, they they need to get out. Yeah. That's why yeah. I did. I got the fuck out. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, now I work, like, I work for Sam Adonis. I work for Jim. I work for KSWA. Mm-hmm. And that's, all, that's all I need in this area. Mm-hmm. If I oversaturate myself, my name value goes down. I ain't going to make that much money. And there's distance. The people that go to KSWA in the middle of town do not go to these other places. No. no. They which don't is, know wrestling exists out which there. Which is great. Yeah. That's Every a whole and, and, the pe- and the people that go out to, like, say, a fight society are afraid to drive into the city. Yeah. So it's kind of, you are, like, they're so close, but they're so far. And and you also have people that are afraid to drive into McKeesport from the city. So it's there you the go. same thing, vice there versa. There you go. And as a whole... As a whole independent wrestling right now, like I said, it's it's the best it's been in years. There's so many opportunities mm-hmm. right now for for people to do this for full time for a living, which is great. Mm-hmm. You, know, you just gotta do. You just gotta have the right. You just gotta market yourself and do it right. You know, a lot of opportunity. Yep, too uh-huh. many opportunities. So <laughs> and and and, as, and wrestling's not dying. Indie wrestling's not dying at all. No. And whoever said that, I'm sorry, but. I think it's not a concern. Well, I mean, it, w- it was a little bit of like, these are two big companies that on paper look like, like I'm, I brought up Defy to get a little more familiar. And I see, uh, uh, I don't know if this is still happening with the supposed cancellation, um, but like he's got, they got like Jush and Thunder Liger coming in for August 23rd, right? Like mm-hmm. this is the level of stuff they were doing. The, the, I, I think perceptionally, like these are the ones I always, you know, Tina and I are always seeing on these wrestling boards shared like, oh, look at this match happening over here, right? Where's like, Defy out of? Uh, the Fi is Tacoma, so that's Washington. So that, that's her neck of the woods there. All right, so that's Washington State. Okay. Yeah. There's some place. Okay. We got IWC. IWC is more of the super indie. Yeah. That, that's that's right. our thing. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, West Virginia, you got IWA East Coast, and you got Pro Wrestling Conquest. Mm-hmm. Ohio, you got uh, for AIW. Like I'm thinking for like how like their style is like. AIW is more of the super indie style. It, it is. Man, it, it is. Um, Be a mega too. I mean, no, nah, AIW not. is like the, has AIW. the super indie plus that Cleveland grit. Yeah, I mean, I it's it's like a, in a pinch of ECW. And, and plus, and plus, like another thing to think about, Sorg is every company has its own style. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, hey, especially now. Oh yeah, like KSWA. Family, old school, family oriented wrestling. Yeah, uh, RWA, old school, mm-hmm. with a little bit southern. Southern, I would say school. a lot of southern influence. That's there. that's why I love RWA. Yeah, like yeah. I don't oh, talk that crowd. Oh, that best, crowd's great. The the hands down best crowd in the area is RWA. Oh, 
cannot cannot convince me different. Rise, uh, Rise is more of a. It's like an older. It's like a mix between new and old school. Great storytelling. Yes, that's uh, that. I heard that a lot this weekend, especially. That's what. That's one thing about Marcus with his booking is he does he builds a good story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that, that is somebody. Somebody. Um, I'm started messaging me. Was like, how can I catch up on this story? I need to find out more about Shirley Doe. Which is like. Wow, you know, between like watching old matches and stuff, like that captured that. You got like, you know, somebody interested in a how twenty five year veteran and yeah. Shirley Doe. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, most of the time when you're like, oh, this guy's been around for twenty five years and he's in the main event, that's usually grown worthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and and some may grown at, at Shirley Doe in a main event, but uh, but but the story was there and people were getting into it. And people are interested in it. somebody who does not go to these shows was getting into it mm-hmm. and binged Rise apparently this past week on their vacation. Uh, so um, that's that says something there. So and 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 like like back to what I said, it it really just depends on what the market is and what the people want. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's why mm-hmm. that's what's great about indie wrestling. Because say if like if my character is it uh, okay, my character isn't what IWC wants. Okay. Mm-hmm. However, I can go down the road. That's some fight society wants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can go to the fight society, like say in Ohio. If uh, my gimmick isn't Beastman is not what AIW is looking for, which I don't know why they wouldn't. <laughs> hey, that's what they want. I'm not. It, that's that. If that's what they want, then right. You know what I mean. But down the road, Mega. Hey, we want the Beastman. There you go. We fit with our company. There you go. That's the great thing about indie wrestling. There's like, if one place doesn't want you or doesn't have anything for you, you always go down the road somewhere else. And eventually mm-hmm. they'll probably bring it. And eventually when they see that you can make money with them, there you go. That's how you get booked, Ronnie. There so, you go. And that's why we're going to get Ronnie booked. Book Ronnie. Hashtag book Ronnie. <laughs> As well. Uh, we got a lot of commentary uh, in the chat room. So I want to touch on that real quick before moving on here to what uh, the big guys are doing on TV this weekend. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, we have so much commentary going on. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tina's just for a little background. She's, uh, she says interesting match that she was exposed to with the uh, wrestle circus was Tessa Blanchard versus Dave Christ, oh, that's good which I say is a precursor to her and Sammy these days in impact. Right. Uh, Wait, have you seen Fulton and uh, Tessa yet? When did that happen? Is oh, that on impact? It's, they showed highlights of, Oh, I need, a, I need to find a place to put impact in my life. <laughs> so um that's a weird statement but uh same with the ring of honor though uh, uh piggyback off of mike's point uh uh tina and i think uh so so more of a question more of a question does twitch and providers like in, in independent wrestling tv or indie wrestling us kind of supplement that a little bit for you uh, i think you were talking about i forget which point because i remember you talking about there may be too many options well, it's it's more about like um, availability. Okay, because a lot like Sorry, yeah, I like because a lot of people don't know. <laughs> that you can go on. What was that? Go ahead, Mike. Um, Sorry, well, we had a lot of people incident. don't like don't know that you can go on like Twitch and stuff like that. Right, right. Different because I like if you ask a random wrestling fan like hey do you know about tna they'll think it ended well i think i think what they'll we're think, talking about think you're done you i think what what I mean? we're, we're not talking about the general wrestling fan there we're talking about i i think your your general wrestling fan is kind of uh you know wwe is going for that right like the person that kind of like goes like oh this thing's in a wrestling ring but i don't care it's entertaining versus i want to watch wrestling i think that thanks to things like nxt and 205 live is kind of growing and I think it was like, I want to find more of this stuff. Oh, this guy did all this stuff over here on WWN. Oh, wait, what's this evolve? And, and like those exposures that WWE does, I think has helped people kind of like, whoa, okay. I think there's going to be a lot more of that coming down the pipe. I think, I think yeah, absolutely, absolutely, because it only helps because they're like, well, if you become my source in that kind of wrestling too, and you just became the name in wrestling period mm-hmm. that just helps them uh uh real quick uh local groups need to work together says ponder keep interest unless your area is too large uh wayne out here uh, i think is a new name 
Uh, I, I don't get the show. I, I don't go to shows to see the, the guest stars. I take my six year old and she loves the local guys. Uh, when I see when I go to a, I think it was a, probably a Halloween show and I see like a six year old, uh, you know, two two like six year olds or whatever dressed as facade and gory. That's the greatest thing. Mm-hmm. Right, because it was like those are not like the. Oh, absolutely. That is not the. And, and, and I'm sure there was like a Billy Gunn or something on that show when they came there. It's like they're not dressed as the ass man, although that would have been weird. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, wait, here's wow. a little a little bit of more uh, replying to Dave. I think uh, Tina's saying that was the fall of uh, the downfall of Wrestle Circus. They kept bringing in the big names to compete with Inspire Pro. Uh, that's also in Austin, Texas. Our friend Eamon, uh down there, a part of that. Um, uh, that's cool about Seattle, Vancouver, where she's is, uh, BC, Portland, Oregon, et cetera. Uh, you're singing talent across the board in the area. Also, it's kind of like a weird, wide open area, too, right? So, when you go out that way. And yet, is a, okay, wait, do, we need, do I need to make a book Beast Man? Um, oh, just put the bo- book Ronnie and you get adjusted. No, on your no, 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 you don't need to no, make no, a book no, Beast no. Man. I'm just saying, I like to go out there eventually. That's all. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. A book the Beast so, Man. Book the Beast Man. Hey, hey, uh, she, I took Tina's advice and tried to get a hold of 3 2 1 battle. They never got back to me. So. Uh, Keep They're poking them. Keep They're poking them. Tell, tell Tina to help you out. There you go. Hey, Max is a friend of the show. He's been on here. Mm-hmm. That uh, runs up there. If I got my promotion straight, I believe. Wait, or maybe was that the other one? You know what? I might be confusing my promotions. Never mind. What's Ty Cross saying tonight? Well, I just know Ty Cross. Ty Cross hasn't been around forever. What? Just ban him? No, no. I think he banned himself. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's too busy taking care of his ducks in his tag team championship. I you guess. You say he's got his ducks in a row. Yeah, he's getting his ducks in a row. There you go. Anyways, well, we got to move on here. Uh, I'm getting the light from the back. Hey guys, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We produce a lot of content. That means we don't just do this podcast on Tuesday night or or filming beast man bleeding all over the place uh <laughs> we do a lot of other events too sporting events music video production hey we got a music video next week we're going to be doing watch my social media for that conferences everywhere in between uh, our team here at psychic media services has you covered as a psychic to your superhero project the be- what next big thing can we help you with uh the team here and producer missy when she's not yelling at me on tuesday nights we actually do, do good work together uh but uh go check that out and hey we've li- we're live streaming a lot of wrestling in the area we can live stream live stream things that don't move nearly as fast as well like bands uh on the stage playing mega man uh <laughs> so much more <laughs> psychic media services.com uh so summer slam this weekend like i said we do have uh the the uh predictions of a nine-year-old coming up here on wednesday uh that we filmed uh, uh, earlier here in studio you can uh, check on the Instagram and the Twitter, um, I did I did post a little bit of preview of that. You guys can check out. Uh, but we do have SummerSlam. I I don't want to go down a, an entire card of this, but what are you excited for for SummerSlam this weekend? A Mad Mike. Hmm. <laughs> um. No. Uh. AJ Ricochet is gonna be fun. Yes. Um. I. Uh... I'm worried about some stuff on SummerSlam. I want to know what you're excited about. I'm excited for TakeOver. That's what I'm excited for. <laughs> the TakeOver would have been over by then. <laughs> Ta- TakeOver, TakeOver is going to be great. TakeOver has got five matches that are all going to be bangers, and mm. I'm very excited for it. God, just five matches. I, I love that. It's so, it's and such a... two women's matches. Wow. Two women's matches on TakeOver. You got Shayna... Shayna versus Mia Yim for the women's title. You got Candice LeRae versus Io Shirai. Mm-hmm. Both those are going to be great. You got the triple threat with Dunn, Dream, and uh, Roddy Strong. Wow. Like, Adam Cole versus Shine Gargano, two out of three falls. St- three stages of hell, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Well, if there's a third fall, William Regal picks the stipulation. Steel cage on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I assume it's going to be a Duchess of Queensbury rules match. Of course, of course. Yeah. I am intrigued by Trish St- Trish Stratus and Charlotte because we didn't get Trish. I would say in a real match uh, at Evolution uh, with uh, with uh, Alexa's injury. 
uh, sorry to wake up your echoes out there. So it was, um, it was uh, that. That's the one that you know between Charlotte and you know Trish. I don't know how much ring rush she's going to be. She stood on an apron on uh, uh, Monday night, but uh, that that I want to see what happens with that. I want to see how that is. I I think it could be classic of the night with the people involved there, and uh, hopefully, kind of uh, tells a new uh, a new story, a, a new chapter on the Trish Stratus. Uh, as part of that too. So, um, what about you, Ronnie? Anything you're excited about for this weekend? I'm excited about wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know what the card is. I'm gonna go in blind because I haven't really watched it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you excited for about the card at uh, the uh, memorial show on Sunday? <laughs> uh, I am excited for all the young talent in the battle royal. Including a masked guy who likes cocoa. I hear he's in that. What uh, is are we are we going to have to take our insulin before this match? It's probably it's possible. Okay, yeah. okay, that's good to know. Yeah, that's good he, to know. He, he dusted off his tights and uh, his mask. Wow, yeah. wow, yeah, big found, news! He found his mask the other day. Big news for three. Uh, of, big news for three of us out I'm here. Look, I'm looking forward to his match. Oh, yeah. His match is going to be good with uh, Sam Adonis. Sam Adonis is going to carry him. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. Really I'm joking. joking. Like around the ring, or yeah. uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, honesty. I'm, I'm very excited for his show because yeah, uh, I'm honored to be a part of it, and it's gonna Excellent. be great. You, know what, you were like the second person I asked to be on, so I mean, well, I appreciate that. I'm happy to have helped and have you're welcome. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm excited about it, and then uh, excited about Fight Society because I haven't been there in two months. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be fun on Friday. I'm sure they're going to play Leave the Memories Alone when they come out, start to show up with the tribute video, Ronnie Starks returns tonight. It's like, Leave the Memories Alone. <laughs> uh, Beastman, what, you, you watched, we were there for Raw. Anything that intrigued you uh, coming out of that? Was it Goldberg? Uh, Remy LeVay was there. That was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so. was he an extra? Uh, what's up? Was he an extra? No, he was just there. Oh. No, he was just hanging out. Yeah. That's what, that's what happens in like, all... WWE shows in Pittsburgh. I find Remy. We just walk around bullshit. Yep. <laughs> used to look at hot. Used to look at chicks, but I can't do that no more. So, <laughs> just being honest. Uh, so no, I'm excited. Well, obviously my show. I'm excited about the mm-hmm. Sunday. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I can't wait for it to be over with. <laughs> uh, for SummerSlam, I really don't know what the card's gonna be. I'm kind of interested to see where the Samoa Joe Roman Reigns thing's gonna go. I'm kind of I like, yeah. I don't think they have a match. Something's going to happen, though. No, gonna I, be something. I don't know. Based on what happened on SmackDown tonight. Yeah. Well, uh, fill me in, man, Mike. I don't, yeah, I, yeah. Well, see, this, this is why we normally run down the card for a sword, so people know what they're talking about. But <laughs> ah, <laughs> so, We're I mean, short on time. We spent forever talking about the demise of indie wrestling. So. But, um, <laughs> and why Ronnie didn't get booked. Uh, yes, they're trying to book Ronnie, yeah. Um, Roman was around uh, looking for who operated the forklift and who drove the car. And he saw Buddy Murphy in the locker room because Buddy Murphy was in the video. And Roman essentially pulled a Batman and started beating the shit out of Buddy Murphy in the locker room. Jeez. And he was like, where are the detonators? Like, where's the Wow. Trigger? Wow. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, I mean, he's completely misplaced because we know it's been Rikishi the whole time. Yes. Well, but, well Buddy <laughs> yes, Murphy. Yes, it was Rikishi. Buddy Murphy said that he saw uh, Rowan. Ah. So basically, it's leading to Rowan and Daniel Bryan, okay, being responsible probably. But that's how SmackDown ended, and Roman technically doesn't have a match no, or something. Don't but... happen. Okay, they're going to give a match. There'll be something. Got There'll be something. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Roman and Samoa Joe versus Daniel Bryan and Rowan. <gasps> and they are the new Samoan SWAT team. I no, love they it. are they are the Samoans Joes. Oh, the Joes and Samoans. Oh, the Joes, the, the Moan and, and Samoans. AJ and if, it, if it turns out that that's a ta- that that's a match with SummerSlam, and neither tag champion is booked, that's kind of a shame. <sighs> there you go. There you go. Doing that that booking math. Anyways. It's not booking math. It's looking at the fucking card. Uh, well, we know Takeover. I'm going to enjoy watching. And by the way, Sami Zayn versus Aleister Black. Yes. Not on SummerSlam anymore. What? It was what? on SmackDown. Ah. The two. The not enough time on SmackDown players. 
Also shows up on Tuesday nights. Da, 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 da. What, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Hey, at least it made for a good SmackDown. Um, I had something else. So what are you excited about? Take over. Well, I told you, Charlotte and, and, okay, and Trish. Okay. And uh, just um, <laughs> uh, apparently watching... Apparently, I'm watching Takeover over breakfast before I drive to uh, West Virginia for uh, for this game show. <laughs> WrestleMania three uh, for WrestleMania three Takeover. So, I'm, I'm excited to watch the watch party. T-shirts. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. You got sponsor money oh, to pay for t-shirts. <laughs> so they're doing business over here on the couch, but I'm gonna tell you about. Hey, we talk about how there's too much wrestling in Pittsburgh. It's almost like you need a calendar to figure it out, mm-hmm. and you can do that over at PittsburghWrestling.com. Uh, that's where you can find a calendar for everybody that runs in Pennsylvania an hour, uh, an hour from Pittsburgh. An hour from my house. An hour from yeah, from, literally an hour from how it is. Well, hey, you know, I figure we had some perspective here. Why not? You can check it out, PittsburghWrestling.com. I uh, even we're uh, featuring whenever whenever a local wrestling is in the news, hits the big time. A uh, friend of the show, Laura Loveless, which is uh, featured on WBOY uh, out of uh, West Virginia, somewhere over there. Uh, so there's a big feature on that in women's wrestling and a lot of stuff out of Rise Wrestling in the uh, Lamont Furnace Connellsville area. But the big deal is there's the calendar. You can check out what wrestling, which of these three uh, shows that are not uh, Beastman's Benefit Show Sunday. Are you going to go to before you go to Beastman's Benefit Show on Sunday? Uh, so yes, please, yes, please come. There are choices, and if you're like, where the hell is this thing? I mentioned. I think I mentioned pro, earlier. Pro Wrestling Springdale. I think uh, Beastman, you're going to be at uh, Rise what's that? Springdale. Yeah, Rise Wrestling in Springdale. On hey August Marcus, 17. thanks for calling me. My <laughs> girlfriend lives in Springdale. Can I got you some people. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Marcus. Yes, book Beastman so he can see his girlfriend. Yes. Uh, <laughs> KSWA. Hey, where the hell are they at this weekend? I've never heard of this place before. That's okay. We got a handy dandy uh, Google Google Map button so you can figure out where the hell Ooh, Sheridan pretty. Sheridan is. I will go use the app. Do 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 do. And now I know how far that is from right here at Sorgatron Media Studio so I can make my plans. All right. You can do that too over at Pittsburgh Wrestling. Dot com yeah, guys yeah. Wah, 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 wah. a lot of stuff happened what did you learn from wrestling this week who wants to go first i will go first you you i think you oh, were very educated yes and yes. you did some teaching yes i did and i think uh i think i got a good patreon story if once we get off mm. the air so we got to bring her on the camera of course but. okay okay <laughs> Nah, here's what I learned. I learned that I bleed a lot when I wrestle. So if I get busted <laughs> open, I bleed a lot. You were oh wait, were you bad? Were you worse than the 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 Chris Helm, Helmsley accidental bloodbath that happened a couple months ago? Oh, that was worse. That was worse. Yeah. Oh, that was, that, was, was, that was like a faucet. That was bad. <laughs> and it was a little Nick too. Uh, he, 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 you know, was it? Cut pretty darn. Yeah, bad. yeah. It was a. <laughs> But anyway, so so you bleed a lot. I bleed a lot. I know that I will be the happiest man in the world after five o'clock on Sunday. So there you go. You're gonna be like, as a, I think, I think your opponent. I just remember I, the three times I've heard, "I'll never do one of these shows again." It's like, okay, what are we doing next? Month? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ronnie, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I've learned that it's okay to pin your spouse when she's getting a uh, a ultrasound done. Okay. And I also learned not to talk shit while the Patreons are actually, you know, paying my bills. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. sorry, guys. That's how, that's how we're, we're paying Wait, your... they're actually paying your bills? How do I get involved? Well, well, they're yeah. actually paying Figure, you. Figure that's, figuratively. That's how we're right? paying you. Okay, I was yeah, going to yeah. say, because I'm like, it, the rookie ain't getting paid before I am. No, yeah, you'll get paid. It's really, it, it's just like pro wrestling. But, it's yeah, just like indie wrestling diggity. around here. Yeah. But, yeah, hot dog and a handshake, bro. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, but, uh, what's pizza and a handshake? <laughs> Thank you, Slice. But seriously, hashtag book Roddy. <laughs> but don't right, really. Right, there, you there you go. There you go. Fit book me. Yeah. Book Roddy. <laughs> Mad Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned <laughs> that although they are not currently the women's tag team champions, mm-hmm. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay are still the longest reigning women's tag team champions, and that will not time. and that and that will That's not nice. change for several months. Mm-hmm. That's nice, nice. Yes. All right, uh, and uh, I learned. I also learned how much uh, these men can bleed. Uh, I also <laughs> learned that no good rotten Zeke Mercer is part of Jesus Club. 
<laughs> and uh, and and which also led to I didn't know they were doing He's a just make a boy. I, I didn't I didn't know that Jesus Club was doing Make a Wish. Uh, so, anyways, uh, this weekend Friday fight night with Fight Society. Fight Society uh, on the Facebook page. I would highly recommend that you follow. Uh, uh, Fight Society on Facebook. You never know what's going to pop up during the show. Damn right. I'm going to say, and uh, you should go do that. But the big, of course, the biggest thing is to be there, see the Beast Man, defend that championship, and be the one rightful, undisputed Fight Society champion. Because I, 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 I am the undisputed Fight Society champion. But that's I mean- right. You don't need to be carrying around two or even three belts no. like some people around there, right? You, you, you can't. You miss one show and suddenly you're not the champion anymore. I'm the champ. I got the fucking belt. What do you mean I'm not the goddamn well, champ? I'm on your side about the situation. Hey, bud, you know. Well, Ronnie wasn't at a show and he's not the champ anymore either. I never, I never was the champ. No, he, but, he, you're, but you're not, but Ron, right? No, it's because Ronnie wasn't booked. That's why he wasn't there. Was it a wedding? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gave the boss enough to notice. <laughs> yeah, you go. There you go. <laughs> and you were not unavailable both days we had the show on. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Tina learned that. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to. Uh, uh, but Tina learned that in wrestling uh, this week, someone actually played Vampiro's fucking music this time. Nice. Vampiro came to the ring while Conan was drinking a beer on the apron. Ooh. That was. Did he call Conan Mexico. a bag of dicks? Um, man, I thought about that when that happened. That was a weird, <laughs> surreal moment. I'd be like, I remember that guy when he called Matt Mike, t- t- told Matt and Mike to eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> Thank you, Vampiro. You're my favorite. You were. I'm sorry, Beast Man. Vampiro, you're my favorite guest we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> so, um, anyways, uh, and Brandon learned that uh, baking pans do a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where did you learn that at? Who did, what did, I don't know that bit. What did Missy learn this week? Missy, what did you learn this week? You filmed wrestling. You don't have a mic, so yell. I'll relay it. No, you don't have a mic. We no, put it she, up here. I heard her. Oh, wait, you do have a mic? A mic's sitting right here in front oh, of Oh, you face. do have a mic. It's live. Look at that. Yeah, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that Sorg forgets me quite frequently. Ah. <laughs> what, what did Anna learn from uh, wrestling this week? You don't like yeah, blood. I understand that one. You don't like no, blood. No, the, the thing that I actually learned this week in wrestling was how much uh, Lee Moriarty likes knives. Oh, gee. did he have a knife again? No, but it's been all over. The, oh, it has been already Facebook. Facebook. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he really like that's your next death. Your, your next. Uh, your next death. Yeah, it's so your death match. <laughs> is uh, you versus Lee with a knife. So so knife you die, a knife on a pole match. Just go up and just go up to him with a spoon and say, <laughs> oh, there "That's you go. not a knife. This is a knife." <laughs> Jeez. Um. Then what it was, Virginia, the Diamond Plex. Go, go check it out. I think it's on the Google Maps. Posters all over. Uh, we're, we're sharing it on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, so you Remember, can get all that information. Remember, if I can get 120, here's the thing. If I can get 100, like, go out there, share the motherfucking poster on my page. If I get 120 likes by Friday, I will go live on Facebook on Sunday and kiss my mother's ass. That Whoa. is a promise. Yo, Whoa. Y'all gonna like this poster and share it. I don't know I don't know that, how I that, feel about that's that. A, that's a concern. That that I did not like, think we were this, going there. This no, is where no, here's why. My my uh, no, because my mother, sugar. my mother's like, you ain't going to get that many shares. I don't know Whoa, why. Oh, uh, I'm like, if I get this many support. shares, I will kiss. I will kiss your ass live on Facebook, in the ring, because she's going to be doing concessions on Sunday. She don't know that yet, but still, uh, she knows now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it first. Early birthday gift because my mom's birthday is on Monday. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. Happy birthday, Mama! <laughs> Happy birthday, go Mama! Check it we'll out. And then, uh, please also hashtag book run. Oh God! Stark wrestling. Hashtag, hashtag don't book run. Hashtag I don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, Ronnie has a, a Twitter? Yeah, I don't use it too frequently. Oh. No. Uh, if you want to, you it's can usually, follow me. It's usually when we tag you. That's it. And yeah. then I retweet it. That's We're it. We're bringing you in. Normally, he uses just to look at porn stars and something to... You know, He's man. not wrong. That's what Instagram's for. The internet is for porn. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah. Follow me at Starks Wrestling on the Twitter machine. Is that where, Are we at that part of the show right now? Yeah, you are at that part of the show. All right. Uh, you can like <laughs> me. I have a Facebook page you can like. You can add me as a friend on Facebook. Just look for Ronnie Starks. Uh, I have an Instagram account, the Ronnie Starks. 
I just post like funny stuff and toys and all that Indeed. goodness. And uh, that's that's it. Hashtag book me if you want. I don't care. Or there book me. There you go. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. Also, go to your local Target and pick up <laughs> for five dollars. Five dollars. Because this season the majors will be answering to a minor. <laughs> <laughs> Hot ice. Oh, jeez. That's the best of both worlds. We're tweeting that picture to him again. <laughs> um, I don't know what we do. Uh, oh, Beastman, where are you social media at? Uh, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, and the Twitter uh, at Beastman Husk. There you go. And uh, I don't know what else to do right now. Wrestling Mayhem Show, thank you so much for joining thank us. Please check out. Thank you, Producer Missy. Thank you, Producer Missy. I used to be such a sweet, sweet thing till they. Got a hold of me. Well, oh, that's the cornet club. We need to come up with like an end song for the show. Well, we we, we, we play song. one. We oh. play one. Yeah, it's yeah, by we... Basic Sickness. Oh, it's, it's, it's all. We'll play it. What, what? Uh, well, guys? We'll see you later. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.